First of all, my definition as a servant leader comes strictly from the Bible. Um, Jesus, uh, his life was one of complete servanthood to God first and also to those around him, humanity. And as we model uh, the lifestyle of Jesus Christ, we see that uh, if we're going to be truly Christian, then we must live lives of, of, of service to others. Uh, Jesus also talked about the greatest among the humanity will be the servants. And so um, I've tried to model my life after um, that uh, image of Christ and tried to uh, give of myself for the well-being of those in this church as well as the community. Well, I'm blessed with a wonderful church. Um, from the very moment I got here, uh, they followed um, my leadership, and I, I attribute that to the great leadership that came before me, Reverend E.S. Evans. Tremendous spirit, wonderful, wonderful man of God. And uh, it was easy for me to come in because he already established a kind of protocol of service uh, for this church and community. So uh, I just stand on the shoulders that, that um, were here before me. And um, it's just been a wonderful experience because I do have uh, loving people and a uh, tremendous congregation that uh, supports me wholeheartedly in all the things that I do. Uh, some of the things that we're trying to do in the community are um, <coughs> Uh, we uh, go at once a week to the rescue mission. Um, we have a 501c3 that is involved in the development of this community. Uh, we've built three homes in this community are, that are just about ready to be sold, and so we thank God for that. Uh, we have a food bank that's been going on long before I got here, but they continue to uh, give service to the homeless and persons who are in need. Uh, I think on any average Saturday, we have close to 90, 100, and sometimes 120 people come. And in addition to doing that, we serve them breakfast um, uh, to come. We want to expand that ministry even further. I have um, a wonderful ministry to Ingram Pie Elementary School where we partnered with them. And uh, we are uh, in the process of expanding that and helping them to build a, pl a playground. They don't have a playground out there. And so we want to work with them and trying to help them to uh, secure a play playground for the kids. Um, one of uh, the ministries that we have, is, which is dear to my heart, is the ministry we have in Haiti. Uh, I'm the foreign mission uh, director for the state of Georgia, and my church wholeheartedly supports me in my efforts to uh, support the work in Haiti. As a matter of fact, we'll be going in the, within the next month, going there to have worship service. We take medical professionals and teachers. And what we have there in Haiti, we have um, a clinic, medical clinic. We have a school, and we also have a church there that we support throughout the year. Members came to me with an idea of starting uh, a place where people who are uh, uh, misfortunate, who are out, out of doors, can get furniture, and they call it Love's Attic. And we've partnered with uh, Center Hill Baptist Church. Pastor uh, Reeves is over there, and he agreed to work with us. And th that ministry is simply about um, uh, people donating their furniture and their appliances and things so that whenever there is a need, people who have that need can come and we can donate those items to to those persons in need and that's been a tremendous tremendous success we have our health ministry which is doing a wonderful job and keeping us informed in terms of uh, uh, all the uh, health issues that we in the African community are, are addressing um, and um, the domestic violence program we have um, where we've had men's, men's marches against domestic violence and, and yearly we have programs here at the church and then finally, we have one also that is dear to my heart, I guess they're really all dear to my heart, but you know, um, is, is our scholarship program where we give all graduating seniors uh, $500 scholarships here at the church. But in addition to that, we choose two um, community uh, recipients. We choose a high school, and the high school counselors choose uh, those students who they feel is, is worthy of uh, uh, scholarships. We give $500 uh, to those uh, persons as well. So these are some of the things that we've got going on. And um, again, I'm blessed to have a church that supports me tremendously. The of meeting a few of the young ladies that you're working with, and I, am, I must say that you're doing a tremendous job, too, in inspiring you and directing those young ladies. And uh, to them and to others, I, I think it's, it's very, very important to find out your purpose, uh, to discover why you're here, uh, what are your loves, um, what direction do you see, envision yourself going and how do you see yourself in the next few years. Uh, do not allow for money or anything material to govern you, but uh, reach deep into your heart and find the passions of your heart. Uh, what, what turns you on? What, what motivates you? But also, how can I give service? How can I bless? How can I use 
what God has given me to be of benefit to others. I think that is the most important um, determination of how we can uh, find out or discover what our purpose and our place is because that's God. That's all God does. Um, God never, even the idea of the Trinity, it's, it's always the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit supporting one another. It's, it's a selfless, completely uh, love-filled relationship that always looks out for the other. And I think if we're going to be godly Christian, uh, uh, we need to find out how my life can be of benefit to others, while at the same time finding purpose and meaning for for why I do what I do. I think the legacy that I want to leave is very simple. Um, he cared. He cared about people. He cared about the conditions uh, that we're faced with. Um, he was non-judgmental and uh, he, he cared. I guess that sums it up for me. He cared.